Oh God, it's dripping everywhere. Why is it dripping? This can't be good. I can't turn back now. I'm bleaching my hair at home. Ugh. Yeah, that does not look good. Uh-oh. I'm scared. <laughs> I honestly thought somebody would stop me by now. I thought maybe Twitter, like people on Twitter would stop me. I thought Bobby might stop me. He encouraged this. I thought my mom would stop me because usually she doesn't want to see me ruin my hair. She, I think has given up and said, yeah, go for it. Sounds good. And then I thought of anybody. My mother-in-law, who is a hairdresser, would have said, no, you probably shouldn't try to bleach your hair at home when you never have before. But no, she was like, sounds good. If you mess it up, I can fix it. <laughs> so I bought the stuff. It's 9 p.m. on a Thursday. Bobby is away camping. It doesn't know I'm doing it tonight. <laughs> the baby's asleep for the night. And um, this is happening. This is gonna be a really long night. <laughs> I have, I have prepared, okay? I talked to the ladies at Sally's hair supply. I watched lots of videos, specifically Brad Mondo, who is hopefully not watching this right now during some sort of fail reaction video. But the main person who I saw do this look I'm about to do, and I thought looked so so good was Naya Catherine. I'm gonna link both of them below. All of their help is helping me feel slightly less like I might destroy my hair. But yeah, I'm gonna dye the top layer of my hair, just a really dark brown, and then I'm gonna bleach and turn blonde the under layer of my hair. Oh, my hair looks so like nice right now too. <laughs> like healthy and feels nice. I'm so why am I doing this? You know why I'm doing this actually? My reasoning is threefold. One, I've never made a YouTube hair video before, so I would like to add this to my video catalog to say that I've done it. Two, I never had my teenage rebellious hair moment, like where teenagers lock themselves in the bathroom at night and just cut their bangs or cut their hair really short or bleach it or change the color without their parents knowing. I never did that because I was really scared of authority and getting in trouble. I mean, I still am, but I'm an adult and I can do whatever I want now. I can ruin my hair if I want to. And then the third reason, and probably the most important reason and the main reason why I'm filming this and making it a whole big deal is the fact that I'm approaching my five year anniversary of the first time I ever dyed my hair purple. It's been five years and I've had purple hair for five, five years. I don't know, this is a weird way to say five, five. Some of you might be like, well, Lauren, you don't have purple hair right now. I do though. You can kind of see, I used this last night. <laughs> hair color remover to try and get rid of some of the purple pigment. Yeah, it didn't work because it's, this is like five years worth of just constantly trying to put it in, but it's very faded now. But yeah, for a long time, it's been purple tinted. You could tell in some videos, but it's still technically purple. And I love the purple. I'm sure at some point I will do purple again. Being that this look has blonde in it, it would be really easy just to add it to the blonde part. I feel like my purple hair became the brand and became me and Lauren Z-side. And I think I had this moment, like now that I'm a mom and so much of myself goes toward taking care of my daughter and so much of myself goes toward work and making videos. It's like, I feel like my hair isn't even mine because I'm scared to change it because other people want it purple. So this, this is my rebellious moment, okay? I'm picking a new hair color and style that I think is cool, even though it's not purple. I mean, I still like the purple galaxy theme, okay? I'm not totally changing everything, but I think I'm ready for a new chapter, you know? It's a new me. It's been five years. I'm a new person. And I feel like this new hairstyle is slightly chaotic. And I think I'm gonna be entering my chaotic era or arc. I'll put pictures up. This is what I'm going for to see if I get anything like that at the end. Please leave a like. The more likes on this video, the more likely my hair will not get messed up. I don't know how. Don't ask me how digital witch magic works. I don't know, but it does, okay? You'll see. Leave a like. All right, so basically I need to section my hair right now and figure out like where I want the blonde to start. Okay, I've just spent the last hour trying to part my hair and I don't know, I can kind of get it on the sides, but I can't part it in the back easily. I don't know if it's because my hair is so thin 
thick and long. It's just like not staying up. So if anybody's wondering, I got uh, this color, A3. It's the same exact one that the girl Naya used. It is a dark ash brown. I'm hoping maybe the ashiness will take out some of the reddish purpley hues that my hair has had. I've never really used a cool brown before. I always use warm ones, so I kinda wanna try something different. So yeah, this is what I'm using for the top. I'm gonna section it out and um, just kind of hope for the best. I mean, if it gets onto the areas that I'm gonna be bleaching later, it's getting bleached. So this is how it's going. Oh, I forgot to put the timer on, hold on. Also, before I get yelled at, I did use developer. I used 20 because I have some, I have some grays. I'm pretty sure it's after the baby. My hair was like, nope. Brad Mondo, I did not just throw dye on this, okay? I took each strand and I put it on, but I was trying to focus so I didn't, film it and still this happened. I didn't start doing my hair probably till 10. So it took me 40 minutes to do this. Now I gotta wait another 35. I gotta get rid of all this. Things are not going well, okay? And I didn't even get to the bleach part yet. I'm so scared. Who let me do this? Okay, I got most of it off. My timer is about to go off. So I'm gonna go wash this, but then I'm probably gonna go to bed because it's past 11 o'clock and I still have probably another two to three hours of this process. So not gonna be staying up till 2 a.m. to get it done. I can do it tomorrow. I feel how I felt when I tried to clean out my closet and I was like, this is a great idea. And then after hours and not getting much done, I'm like, this was a terrible idea. Why did I decide to do this? That's how I feel right now. Yeah, we're gonna let it air dry tonight and then tomorrow is bleach day. <laughs> the scariest of all the days. Oh, great, I'm dripping. <laughs> and the best part, oh God, it's dripping everywhere. Why is it dripping? <laughs> this can't be good. This was supposed to be the easy part. I'm in trouble. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try and get some rest uh, and then we'll pick back up tomorrow. <laughs> oh, hey, it's like a day and a half later. <laughs> and it's daytime because Bobby's <gasps> home now. We're off to a great start today. Bobby's home now, Melody's napping, but he's gonna take over when she wakes up. So I can try to finish this because today is bleach day and I'm really scared because I thought a day and a half ago was the easy part. When Bobby got home from his trip, I was like, oh, I spent all night coloring my hair. Do you notice a difference? And he said, no, he didn't. He thought it still looked purple. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dark brown. There's no purple. And this should be the purple. I don't, I don't know. Is it different? <laughs> I don't know. This is going really well. All right, let me section my hair. So I think I did a pretty okay job. The back, it's not good, <laughs> but I'm hoping because it's under my hair, nobody will know. But I think this is a good amount to be blonde. I don't think I showed my bleach that I bought. Hair haul, I got, <laughs> this one was recommended, the Ion Bright White Cream Lightener, and I looked it up and it got pretty decent reviews. She said it's a lot nicer on your hair, like it might not destroy it as much as regular bleach, but it's probably, it's still gonna destroy it, let's be real. And then I got a 30 developer. Okay, so let me mix these. I feel like a witch, <laughs> especially with this hair. A witch that's mixing poison. <laughs> Pretty much. Honestly, if this video has taught me anything, it's um, how valuable hair colorist, stylist, you're all amazing because <laughs> I thought I researched so much and have literally spent so much time and I still feel like I'm messing this up. Okay, it's gonna be a little hard to do this on camera. I'll do the first one on camera and then use your imaginations. It'll just be literally me the whole time going. Okay, and yes, I did, I got foil because I'm thinking the ends of my hair need it. But I learned, thanks to Brad, that you have to do your ends first. Ends and then middle and then leave your scalp for the end because that's gonna develop the fastest. I'll do the ends in the middle, wait 20 minutes and then do my scalp and then wait another 20 to 30 minutes because I can leave it on up to 50 minutes, it said. <laughs> Science! I already destroyed my bath mats under me with the dark hair color, so. Oh God, I just, I, start, I just started doing it while talking. I wasn't paying attention to like the gravity of this situation. Like I can't turn back now. I'm bleaching my hair at home. My hair is so thick and I'm supposed to, that's the only thing I learned from Brad. Thank you, Brad. You're supposed to glob it on. I'm globbing it on. Don't be scared with the lightener ladies or fellas. <laughs> It's gonna damage the hell out of your hair no matter how much you use. I also learned that bleach likes to be moist. 
It's a little hard to do in the camera, but I'm gonna go to like about here and I will check back in with you guys when I get all the ends and like mid sections done because I'm gonna have to do this in the mirror. I had to put the fans on because holy crap, it smells. I had a coffee in here. I don't think I'm gonna drink it. There's too much bleach particles flying through. It is lightning really fast. I only just finished putting like the bottom part. I haven't done the roots yet, but I think I'm about to because that took about 20 minutes just to do the hair. But I'm really excited because yeah, look. <gasps> It's lightning so fast. Everything's working out. Maybe, I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't all fall. Could you imagine? Oh my God. It all just fell out of my hair. Also, I want to take this opportunity. I'm changing my hair. It'll hopefully work out. I've been trying to change my wardrobe a little bit. I'm trying to find me. 30, try to find me. Still, see, at 30, you still are probably gonna be trying to find yourself. I feel like every five years, you kind of go through this thing. And I'm in a new phase of my life. I have a kid, but I also have a business. I'm in the fun, chaotic arc of my life, and I want my hair to be fun and chaotic as well. I like not having my big fake strip lashes on anymore. I think I might work on just getting my natural lashes to look a bit more like but I feel like my natural lashes will look better with my hair. So yeah, this is just a whole new me video. Like all of you that are actually sitting through this video and not just scrolling to the end results. I love you, first of all, but second of all, you're learning. You're learning about the new me. Okay, I need to start doing the roots before this like <laughs> overdeveloped. Oh my God. It's turning pink down here, which I figured it would do, but I love it so much already. Bobby came in and helped me do the back area, but he thinks I should do another pass. The max I can have this in is another 15 minutes. Wait the 15 minutes, rinse it out, dry it, and then I'll be back and see where we're at. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, first of all, my makeup <laughs> is all over the place and gone. Um, As you can see, it's not blonde. It's like red or pink. It's not the worst color. It's also damaged already. Yeah, so I obviously have to do it again. You may also notice that I didn't do enough, I don't think. Oh, that looks better when I did. So in theory, when you put your hair half up and half down, you should have this like nice blonde going on, right? Right now you currently have blonde mixed with some of the brown strands that I did not bleach. I don't know how I messed up the part that bad. I definitely didn't do enough of the hair on the bottom. So. Ah, okay. Well, we should have known that this was gonna be a disaster. I mean, it's not a disaster. It's still like, I like the vibe. I think this needs to come up higher. My problem now is I don't wanna bleach my hair more than twice, even twice I was iffy about doing, but I should have known I have to. It says online that you should wait 24 to 48 hours to minimize damaging. But I mean, if, if I'm damaging my hair, I'm damaging. I don't have the time to wait a couple days, so we're gonna, we're just gonna go for it. The problem now is I'm gonna have some pieces that are a lot lighter because they've been processed twice, and then I'm gonna have some pieces that are this color because it was processed once, because it's gonna be all mixed. We're learning and failing together. That's what this channel's all about. <laughs> okay, let me try to section out my hair again because I did so well the first time. Okay, this is the new parting. Yeah, look how much brown <laughs> I missed. I was too scared, I think, the first time around. So we're just gonna hope for the best. And we'll hope maybe, because it'll be like all different tones of blonde probably over here. We'll just, we're just gonna hope that it kind of looks cool. Your hair doesn't make you, you make your hair. I mean, unless it's really bad, unless it all falls out. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my God, oh my. This might be the lightest my hair has ever been in my life. This side looks not as light. I feel like I drenched. I tried to drench both sides. I don't know if you can see the back of my hair. Well, you can if I go like this. But in the mirror, it kind of looks dark back there. I tried to like really massage it in. I guess it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it. That's the one really good thing about this hairstyle. Like I definitely like this parting is not straight, but you're not gonna be able to tell because the hair is gonna be over it. I just hope I did enough hair. It's gonna be so two-toned. I'm just hoping some of the pink comes out. <laughs> yeah, let me add some more to this like dark piece that I'm seeing. And then I'm gonna wash it. Apply to, ooh, towel dried hair. Yes, I thought I was gonna have to like blow dry this again. I'm so freaking happy. I'm almost done. Just want a document. I'm a little scared because I don't know what this is. I don't know, it's like patchy 
dark colors. I don't know if it's just stubborn strands, if that's even a thing. Hair people, let me know. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that does not look good. Uh-oh. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, um, there's definitely pieces in it that are brown. <laughs> I don't know if they were just super stubborn or I didn't get to them somehow, even though I felt like I was like really trying to get it into e every strand. There's lots of red still. <laughs> it's very possible that this toner doesn't work, but it's all I have. We're gonna see what happens and hope that it turns out cool. Okay, toner's in and it's not looking too bad. I think it's gonna have a little bit of a pink tint, like a rose gold tint, which I'm not totally opposed to. <laughs> oh, did I say what toner? I got T10. That's why I was saying I wasn't sure if it's gonna pick it up, but it looks okay. I kind of like how the color's coming out. There's definitely some strands of brown, which I'm not thrilled about, but it is what it is because I'm not a professional. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what this does. So far, the yellow is gone and the orange is gone from up here. So I'm happy. <laughs> I'm gonna wait 30 minutes, wash this out. Shampoo and conditioner. I got this like blonde purple conditioner to try and keep the brassiness out of my hair. So I'm just gonna use that. And yeah, this was a process. There was many times during this process that I wanted to give up, have somebody else do it or just not go through with it. But I'm glad I did. And I will be back with the final results. Oh. Okay, I don't hate it. It's not perfect. Hopefully there's no hairdressers cringing at it right now. You might be. It's definitely way blonder up here, which I anticipated because your roots always get a lot more blonde. But I think my issue was I tried to add more hair the second round. Obviously, like I still have some hairs that like didn't make it in that should have been blonde and aren't. I have some hairs that are like really red still because they only got one bleach session instead of two. So I think from here down is the hair that was up here that I had bleached years ago and then dyed purple. And then I just kept adding the purple for the last five years. So this is what remains of five years of purple. Also, I think this side I should have done more. Like this probably should have been blonde maybe because when my hair is down, if I don't fix it, you can see the blonde on this side a lot more than this. <laughs> what I found is kind of cute for right now. I just pick this side up and then kind of do a little clippy clip and then kind of bring this down. And it's kind of a cute hairstyle. I do like it. It's not what I was going for. I knew it wasn't gonna be perfect. I knew a hairdresser could have done better, but I don't know. I'm not perfect either. Nobody is. So it's kind of like a life lesson in a hair style. I do really like this style though. My mother-in-law said the only way to probably get this because I bleached it twice already and I have tried the hair color remover and that didn't work. She said, I'm probably gonna have to bleach it again, but if I don't feel comfortable doing it now to wait a little bit. And also she's coming to cut my hair tomorrow. So we're not done. She said she's probably gonna have to cut like a chunk off because this is all dead. I think after that, there might just be a little bit of this like reddish pink at the ends. And I think I could live with that for a while. But yeah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow with my mother-in-law and get her take on it. And then we're gonna cut it. And then I think we're finally gonna be done. <laughs> but I really like it. I like the change. I think it, it was time. The purple, the purple had to be retired for a little bit. I like it. Okay, so today's the day I get my hair cut. Thanks to my mother-in-law. Hi. I kept mentioning <laughs> was gonna fix my hair. First looks in real yeah, life. Looks Pretty good. I'm very impressed. I, I like that there's still some red in it too. Yeah, I thought I wouldn't like it, but it's grown on no, me. No, it looks pretty because of the fall now and it makes it a little warmer. And it's still like unique. And it's not that damaged. I know. Wow. I thought it was going to be destroyed. I kept describing it as... you done good. Not perfect, but it it came out pretty, pretty okay. It came out, I mean, I'm when you told me first that you're going to do it, I was a little scared for you. <laughs> I did like the ion white balance. Okay. For in the, the bleach mm -hmm. in the tube. And the developer? And then 30 developer. Good, I told you. And the, <laughs> yeah, that, that was one I called her and showed her everything that I bought. And she right. I was like, I got 20 developer. And she's like, for no. your dark care? And I was like, no, for everything. And she was like, no, no well, go no. get 30. Yeah, done good. Yay. Yay. I got a professional's yes. approval. Now we're gonna cut it. Yeah, now we're gonna cut it. And, and then see what happens. We'll see what it looks like after that. And then I'll give a final reveal to end this video. Yes, but you really did good. I'm very impressed. Yay. You can do my hair. Yeah, do you trust <laughs> me with your...
<laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, let's no. see what happens. Here's me setting up the camera, but forgetting to turn my microphone on because I'm a super professional YouTuber. So I'm just gonna voice over this little bit from memory. Okay, let's show the audience the back of your hair. Beautiful! Bobby's mom speaking, and I cut this. I'm amazing. Look at my amazing job. And I'm Lauren, and I love my haircut. It's really great. It makes it look way better. Yes, Lauren, it looks great. Yay! Yay! She's amazing. That's why I always have her cut my hair. Oh, thank you. Feels so nice now. Touching it, touching it. Thank you so much. I love you. Mwah! Yee! Okay, so final thoughts. I'm down in my office. I feel like the lighting in here makes it look a lot warmer than it looks in real life. I don't know why. It's just a lot more vibrant down here. Like it looks more like a golden blonde. I really like it. Like the haircut made it look way better. I am finding myself constantly touching it because there's so many ways to wear it. Like way more dark, way more blonde and put my hair like behind my ears or I could tie it half up, half down or just kind of half and half. It even looks cool when my hair is tied up. I like it. I think it suits me. I'm honestly very relieved to not have the purple anymore. I'm very relieved to have a change. I don't think I realized how much I needed a change until I actually did it. And now I just feel like so much more refreshed and better. I'm like trying new makeup things. Like I don't have the fake lashes on right now, which is also very nice and refreshing. I feel more me for the first time in a while. I feel like you kind of go through that when you become a mom or a parent. After the dust settles of having a kid, you kind of need to find yourself again because you lost yourself for what is it, a year, almost a year and a half now. And I'm finally starting to like figure out my style and my hair and my makeup again, because I'm pretty much a new person. You guys let me know in the comments. In a month, I'm thinking of bleaching again. <laughs> if you guys think it's a good idea just to get to that pale blonde that I wanted so it doesn't look so yellow on camera. But I think I'm gonna keep this for a while. I'm gonna keep it for a little bit. I definitely think I'm gonna throw in a fantasy color before I'm done with this half, half look, because it's just so easy, it's just, it's begging for it. It's so light, it would take it so well. So yeah, uh, I'm not done with the fantasy colors, I'm sure, but I wanna keep this for a little bit. So it's gonna be a little while before I do that. I can't stop looking at it. It's a whole vibe. It's that cute, but dark alternative, like kind of creepy Halloween-y, but also alternative. It reminds me of like alt rock, I don't know, <laughs> which is one of my favorite genres. I feel like it suits me. It's chaotic, but beautiful. But yeah, leave a like if you like my new hair. Very scared to upload this video. <laughs> I know so, so many of you are attached to the purple, but like, guys, it's been five years. I need just, just for a little while. I just need to, to not be purple and have purple residue on everything. And look, now I can wear purple shirts. I felt like I couldn't wear that much purple, especially while filming because it's like purple shirt, purple background, purple hair, too much. But yeah, leave a like if you like my hair and you think I should keep it for a little bit. Let me know in the comments below how I did, if I should make it more pale blonde. I just want opinions. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for coming along on this journey and making it all the way to the end. I appreciate you. If you want to continue your journey, then click this video. It's where I read my teenage diary. I don't know, I'm just going on like a teenage journey right now in my 30s, reading my teen diary to the world, dyeing my hair in the bathroom, being rebellious by myself. I don't know why, it's just happening. But if you haven't seen this video, click it. It's awesome. Teenage Lauren would love this look. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will see you guys soon.